Hey YouTube, today we're uh, freezing our asses off filming this intro uh, about confidence. What is it? How do you gain it? This is Vancouver Talks. What is confidence and how do you gain it? Yeah, you've got to, you've just got to go right in and, and say it. I think I think that sums it up really. Well, beer, yeah. beer, beer, yeah, yeah, beer helps. Um, but like, isn't there a more natural way so like it actually sticks? So you can use it when you're not, you know, drunk. Uh, yeah, you got to be. I'm sure there is, but I wouldn't know. You're either born with it or you're not. Sure, I think. Mic. Confidence is uh, the highest uh, level of self-belief in oneself. That's from my dictionary, you know? It comes from the inside, you know? You need to turn it into a habit. Just look into yourself in the mirror and just being like, you know, I'm, I'm sexy, you know, I'm the best human being alive. You either got it or you don't. And if you don't got it, you can make it. Okay. Yeah, you feel me? Oh, it's accepting yourself and just like going with your own flow and you don't have to care about what people say or, or anything. That's what I say, confidence. Yeah, yeah, just being happy with what you are, you know, be friendly, approachable, you know, don't seem intimidated by anybody, and, you know, I think that's it. I think that it's the ability to recognize that you are valuable, your thoughts are valuable, your actions are valuable, um, separately from the value that other people give those things. Innate value. Yeah. Confidence is when you're insured in what you're doing. I guess, I don't know. It's like... Certainty? Yeah, yeah, you know? It's like, even if you take a hit, you have other aspects of your life to compensate. So, it doesn't matter if things don't go your way because overall you're still doing all right. And I think it takes time to build up. So like, no matter what happens, you're gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, like anyone in any situation can give off confidence, but to truly be confident, you have to be at a certain, like, at aspect ease. of your life yeah you need to with yourself and build yourself up yeah in like a bunch of aspects of your life social and non-social to actually be confident and not just show i don't know if i have an answer for that it's a, okay. it's, uh, it's a tough question yeah it's a tough question probably being comfortable with who you are in a situation like that's that's confidence in my view so when you look at someone what is it about them that tells you that they're confident <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, the behavior, the way they talk. I think or... body language has a lot to do with it, and it's not necessarily about you know having your chest up or looking people in the eyes. I just think it's kind of the way you carry yourself. It's very kind of almost immaterial in a sense. It's like something you can sense more so than something you can see. But you know, I think it has a lot to do with you know the way you express yourself, and I think just the way you carry yourself more so than kind of any specific uh, physical trait. When you look at someone, what is it about them that tells you that they're confident? Uh, yeah, just how you hold yourself. Like, um, what makes someone confident? <laughs> um, introducing yourself. Um, yeah, just like how you present yourself, like how you stand. Um, posture. <laughs> yeah, just being open. Your body language says a lot. I think, well, the first thing about someone who's confident is... I like it when someone is maybe talking about things that, and I don't like mean politically, I just mean like maybe they're talking about like an interest of theirs that other people might not find cool or fascinating, but like they're talking about it with such passion that like I know that they have the confidence to be able to share something that other, they, you know, that I might perceive that others might not be interested in hearing. And like physically, I think that you can like often see confidence in the way that someone holds themselves. Like I feel like when people are like, looking up and they're like looking at people even if they aren't confident it kind of projects this idea of confidence outward i guess mostly their demeanor uh a little bit in their posture uh and like sometimes straight, well not necessarily straight i mean some people just have bad posture but like just like a little bit of pep in their step and uh maybe a little bit of a smile too i don't know usually if they're having a good time you can be pretty confident um Fidgeting and looking up when you walk uh, really makes you look more confident, right? Like so if you're always lack of fidgeting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Like if you have a position that you keep your hands at and you just keep it there, 
then you feel comfortable in your surroundings, or at least you come off that way. Confident? Smile. I would say the way they like talk, the way they speak and hold themselves. Like you can tell if someone's confident or insecure by like the way they present themselves easily. If they have really bad jokes, if they're like picking on people, they're probably insecure. But if yeah. they're like the funny person or like the happy person, then they're probably pretty secure in themselves and they're not looking to stir or like turn the attention away from them in a negative way, you know? I so. Would you guys consider yourselves confident? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes. How'd you get that way? Like, how'd you become confident? Um, being insecure for a really long time and then realizing that this is the only thing you're ever going to have is yourself and your body and like embracing what you can do with it and how you can make it better and how you can feel better and just like loving yourself completely and wholly. Like it's the only way you can enjoy life no matter what is as long as you're comfortable in your own skin. I was going to say, yeah, same thing. You only get one life, so making sure that <laughs> yes, you just girls, live it to the answer. fullest answer. and five, do five, what's five. best for you, yes. that's that's going to be the best way to do, go about it. How can you tell if someone is actually confident or if, if they're just faking it? Well, if they complain about a lot of things that are like, like I worked with somebody a while ago and they were like, oh, I'm so short, oh, I'm not good looking, da da da. Like, if you complain about what you are or who you are, then I, I feel like you're not confident. You know what I mean? Regardless of what you are, one thing I've learned recently is that like the things that you worry about for who you are, people don't even notice those things. Like you say, oh, I have a mole here, I hate it, it makes me look ugly. People don't even notice that. You just have to like, don't just complain about who you are, just be yourself. Do you feel like you're confident? Yeah, I'd say for the most part. And how, how did you gain that confidence? I used to struggle with confidence a lot in my earlier years and like early high school and elementary. I used to be a chubbier kid, didn't have a lot of friends, but uh, I guess I just worked on myself a lot. I shedded weight and I did more sports. I picked up instruments and, you know, you just stop caring eventually. And people who want to talk to you will talk to you. If they don't, they won't, you know. Would you consider yourself confident? Uh, more or less, yeah. And like, how, how did you gain that confidence? Uh, mostly just trying to be content with the way things are, I guess. I'm not too worried about what's happening and I enjoy myself. It's like, don't worry about it, yeah. basically. Do you consider yourself confident? Very. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. How'd you gain that confidence? Uh, kind of like a fake it till you make it situation. Like I used to be super, super self-conscious and anxious about a lot of things. And I realized that it wasn't getting better by me just like, you know, thinking more about the things that I can improve and like all these things. And so I just started pretending that I was a really confident person. Like I would wake up in the morning and I'd be like, today I will play a little character in which I'm the confident version of me. And I would think in my head like, well, if I was confident, like what would I do? And then like the more and more you do that, it just reinforces those pathways in your brain. And then you can like become a confident person. I think it's like a skill that it's, it's practiced. I don't think it's something that like you're innately born with. Yeah, I consider myself confident. I think I could be more confident at times for sure. But I'd say I'm like pretty confident. And like, how did you become confident? Like, what can someone do to become confident? What do you think? I don't know. I want the tips as well, you know. So <laughs> yeah, I'm not too yeah. confident like in classes and stuff. Um, just believe in yourself. Like a lot of the times, I'm sometimes like scared to like answer questions that profs are asking. But if you believe in yourself, like, like just believe that you have good answers as well. Because sometimes it's really overwhelming like being in class and like thinking everyone knows more than you or like even if you do know stuff. So yeah, just put yourself out there and... So things aren't usually as bad as you imagine they would be. Yeah, exactly. Fake it till you make it, at least that, that's what works for me. At work, I'm always put in situations where I'm expected to you know, exude confidence. It's part of like what, sales or whatever. It's just knowing, knowing your stuff, knowing who you are and even if you don't, say fake it till you make it because the other person's not going to know half the time anyways so does that work for like everything like like confidence in, in yourself in like your, your body image or like public speaking or at work or uh, dating for example let's say in dating it can be a little different in, in, the, in my dating life anyways it's uh, always find someone who's attracted to you and if they're attracted then you don't really have to worry about your own image right and, uh, not that I like to put my uh, self-worth based on what somebody else sees, but it's just easier, right? Um, they're still around, there must be something they're interested in, right? Um, same thing with, you know, I guess, with work, is people are still listening, they're there to, to listen to you, so... 
and you, I guess you would just be comfortable, gain that comfort through just the experience, I guess. Yeah, oh yeah, like you, you gotta, at least for me anyways, it's just putting myself into those situations, yeah. knowing if I'm not comfortable and just putting myself out there. And, uh, after a while, like, you kind of get desensitized to it and that's, it makes it easy to gain that confidence, build that confidence that way. If, Really, it's about fear of the worst that can happen, and if nothing happens most of the time, like our worst fears are usually never, like never actually occur. So you can kind of get past that, you know, self doubt, and that's how you build confidence. But you just gotta be like, you just gotta tell yourself you're the best, you know, and then yeah, just keep repeating it until you have it. You know, start to believe it. Of course, yeah, and it's it's more than that too. It's more than that. You also gotta take care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally. You know at the highest level. So like, that works for, for everything, like confidence in yourself, in like, work and dating and, and all that? Yeah, for sure. Like for me, I'm confident in some areas compared to others. Like, uh, like, like for example, dating, man. I'll, there'll be months where I'll be like, you know, like nothing, like, you know, just cause like, but then I realize like my confidence, I'm not really like stepping out the comfort zone with it. But if I'm like telling myself before every date, I'm like I'm the best and stuff. Then I'll go. I'll go on a good streak, through like on a few dates and stuff. So like you yeah. change your, your mindset, your mood. And stuff. Exactly. Yeah, man. You gotta do what it takes. Whether it's like, you know, meditating, medication, whatever. You know, it's good. To, every I be, I'm a believer that everyone should be confident in themselves. Yeah. And everyone everyone should look at themselves as the best, or always trying to be the best version of themselves. You feel me? Do you have any tips on how people can gain that? Uh, yeah, totally. Um, hit the gym a lot. That definitely helps. Um, try and dress better. Uh, groom yourself more. Like, don't go unruly. Do something with your hair. Like, I don't, but I should. I mean, and like, if, if you feel confident with it, then... <laughs> yeah, you might as well, right? Yeah. I feel like I'd be even more confident if I did something, though. I guess just uh, dress well when you're speaking. Vary your tone and, like, how fast you speak and how high you speak. That really helps too. And, you know, just have abilities that you can impress people with without having to show that off. And you'll be confident eventually. Would you consider yourself uh, confident? I don't know. See, <laughs> I don't know. You would have to tell me. Um, I think it depends on the context, you know. If you, you know, if you ask me when I speak in front of people, am I confident? Probably not. But if I just do, if I just walk by myself, I, I guess so. But I think it's very contextual. I don't know if I could say yeah, I'm confident all the time. Yeah, because it like depends. Like, uh, it could be good at like a uh, sport, but not at yeah. like interpersonal relationships. Yeah, so I or, think, yeah, like, it, yeah. It, it, it depends on the context. But so yeah, I wouldn't enough. be able to say yes or no. So, uh, uh, flat, flat. Then how how could someone gain confidence then like, in whatever hmm. they want to gain confidence in? That's a good question. I don't think there's a uh, one answer for it, but I think to answer that question, you have to answer why you're not confident in certain situations. So. If let's say you're not confident when you play sports, is it because you don't think you're good, or is it because you haven't trained enough, or or if it's between it's an in interpersonal relationship, is it because you haven't really you don't really go out of your comfort zone? So I think to answer how to become confident, I think it would have to go back to why am I not confident in X scenario, and then once you have that figured out, then you can work on that thing specifically to kind of get better at that uh, instance. Okay, with confidence. So. I mean, it comes from, you know, working on yourself. That's where confidence comes from. You know, you can't really fake it too much. To a certain point, you're going to hit a wall. So you got to focus on yourself, your well-being, you know, professional, financial, all those types of things. Naturally, you will be comp more confident with that. But if you're just trying to be more confident, it's pretty hard to fake it. Like, how can you tell when someone's faking it and when someone's actually confident? I mean, little things, I mean, social cues and stuff, but sometimes when you see a confident person, you just tell like, you know, that person's kind of got it. Because they're consistent with it, it's not just like ebbs and flows. It's like consistent behavior. I would say it's consistent behavior, yeah. Um, someone that is on their, own, on their own grind, you know, they have a mission and they're following that. That usually gives people confidence, gives them purpose. So how can you gain that confidence then? Suffer. <laughs> I, I don't know how do you gain the confidence to accept yourself you just have to uh, just have to I guess you know take it you know so you have to realize that life is short you know you're gonna die someday so if you don't start living the life that you want to live or the life that you're called to live 
you're going to be left unfulfilled and you're going to run out of time. So I'm almost 30, so. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I mean, you know, the way I see it, it's like the worst thing that, you know, can happen is somebody says no or somebody denies you. But, you know, you probably never seen it again and your life goes on, you know, so you're not going to die right there. What I would hope you don't. I like your sweatshirt, man, Justin Bieber. Hey, bro, <laughs> I like your sweatshirt. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Boy, that was a long day. Uh, thanks for watching. Share, subscribe, and um, we'll see you next time. Let's go out. I don't um, think we've I got mean, anything no. sensible to say, to be honest. No, really? <laughs> okay. Okay. You caught us big off guard. Yeah, yeah, man. You caught us out of time, like, to be fair. I thought it was going to be like, what's Canada like? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. mean, I can ask you uh, like a dating question as well. Go for it. Oh, God. Go on.